unbelievable. As you guys might be able to tell, I'm writing something a bit different today. And it's raining, and it's shit, and it's awful, and I hate the weather more than anything else in my entire life. But this is what I'm riding today. It's a Kawasaki Z1R. It's quite a classic, and I'm getting to ride this today to the MOT Centre. So let's go for a ride in the shocking weather. It's very temperamental as well. It kind of has these little niggles of, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that. It's also not a very uh, natural position for me. I'm not used to being sat like this. I look a bit of a balloon sat on this thing. But, you know, doing a vlog in the rain, is that not dedication at its finest? Obviously, I'm not going to be maxing this thing out because the weather's shocking. But I will have to give it a bit of a run for its money. I remember when I first ever rode this thing and uh, the thing that I noticed the most was it is just like my Honda RVF, unrestricted. Honestly, it's crazy. You can see the fuel meter is going absolutely nuts. That's uh, old school technology uh, at its finest. That means so it can be more accurate, yeah. It's very juttery, this thing. It has been rebuilt, but it is very juttery. Um, also, the turning indicator is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. For a bike that was made in 1978, I believe, it is quite a good bike for what it is. But the problem is, look at this indicator. You can't press it in in the middle to turn it off. You have to flick it the other way, which means you can end up turning right when you don't want to. Not a big fan of that. So, the weight. I don't know exactly how much this thing weighs, but it's got to be a lot. That clutch is dodgy. Um, it's got to be a quite a lot. I mean, my Suzuki weighed about 250. This thing must weigh about 270, I'd say. It's really heavy for what it is. That being said, I'm sat like I'm on an MT-09. Seriously, it's so upright. And it's so comfortable. I'm in, like, in an armchair position here, just like... Look at my arms, just armchair position. I like to make it look a bit more sporty, stretch my arms out. So I don't look like a complete granddad. It hasn't got as much kick as I thought it would. This is a 1000cc Kawasaki bought out to a 1100. It has got a bit of... A bit of give. The person who writes it on a daily says that it, when you get it up to near the 1900, you know, it gets to go a bit. That clutch is so dodgy. It like it gives you half, and it's like, oh no, can't give you the rest. Sorry. It's like it, it teases you. It's like you get it about halfway to bite point, and then it's just kind of like, nope, actually, you need to go a bit more. Sorry, that's my mistake. Real dodgy clutch. Not a fan. That being said, though, if I mean the fuel tank on this thing is absolutely tiny. Like not it's not just the fuel tank itself. Like how much fuel it holds. It holds like next to no fuel. The design is a bit dinosaurish, but if you know your motorbikes and you know your classics, you'll recognise that this thing is quite an icon. Um, hence the guy who owns it is a bit of a collector. So that being said, kind of says it's quite a special machine. I'm pretty sure if I went to Squires on this, uh, I'd get some looks, which I was planning to do between me and you guys. But with the weather as it is, I doubt anyone will be there anyway. It's so weird coming from my daily sport bike as well to this thing. I mean, like... Whoa, shit, the bed! <laughs> That's got a bit of talk. Well, fuck me. Oh, yeah, it likes to go. <laughs> oh, yeah. When it's not juttering and spitting and being an absolute bastard, it's quite the machine. So I'm going to straight up apologise. I know I'm bringing you guys a video on a different bike, which is so rare for me because of my licensing scheme. But at the same time, it's not good weather, and I'm really sorry the weather had to do this because it is spoiling it for me. Um, but regardless, this is probably the only chance I will get to ride this bike, and I just had to jump on it. Um, I, I had a chance to ride a Ducati 900 as well. Maybe that will come another day, but that's also another classic, and it's a bit more dodgy. So, again, maybe more classic rides in the future. But again, the Z1R is not a bad start point. It's a fantastic bike, like, for what it is. 
Um, I don't know why the guy who owns it is so obsessed with it because, you know, something modern would take my fancy so much more. Not even... I know you get a lot of nostalgia with this thing, but even so, like a modern bike would be so much nicer to ride. I have no idea what the lads in the shop are going to say to me when I bring this thing in. They're probably going to be like, holy shit, balls, man, that's an awesome bike. And I'll be like, yeah, thanks. It's all right. It's not even mine. I have no idea. They do have a uh, Kawasaki in this shop I want to test ride as well, actually, believe it or not. So I may go have a look around that. Only a 250, but still, a test ride is a test ride. More bikes to my, was it, repertoire? Yes, I am now turning French. There is the Suzuki dealer that I'm going to with a Kawasaki just to rub it in their face. Come on.